Thought I'd jump in and uh, do a doodle. I've been wanting to make one for a little bit here. I've got a couple things I'm working on. Um, I also have this quote that I just found. Uh, Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can by Arthur Ashe. It, uh, speaking to me right now, so I'm going to put that right over there. Also, I've got, let's see, the doodle I worked on last time and kept on adding to it. I don't know if I, well, I did kind of ruin it, but um, it gave me some other ideas to uh, maybe move forward on. And then I was working on this one last night. If you've seen my clock video, what I'm wanting to do is, is uh, digitize that and pull out some of this. And so part of it is gonna be like the minute hand and, or the minute mechanism and the other part would be the hour mechanism and then um i don't quite like this but it's an idea for having the seconds go around the circle but i wanted to kind of play around with this idea of um pattern that i kind of fall into with these three lines do that again got a blank paper here and a couple of templates and i'm gonna start where i am as mr ash stated one thing i can do to make life a little bit easier for the circle make some lines here as reference lines but so i've lined up there's a teeny tiny circle here and here and here and here and so they're lined up on those lines and so that's going to give me a reference so when i do the big circle here I don't know if my pencil got that, the lead. Yeah, there we go. And then, see, so there's these little tiny circles there. Oh, there it is. So you can see the circles. Got a little more lead this time. I can put in that outer or inner ring. All right, so that just helps line them up a bit more. I think that's good. And then I can get out my template here for my hexagons it's just randomly put right there one right here all right uh, let's see how about another one watching to make sure that not too many of the lines perfectly match up for some variation Looks good. How about a circle? What if I broke broke that line? That may be pretty cool. How about one down here? I guess go opposite, but not too opposite. Sure, how about right there? Put something down here. Let's see, just trying to think of a flow. Maybe like that. Hmm. I broke the plane down here. I don't necessarily have to break it up there, but it feels like maybe it's asking for it. How about super small? Here. Looks to line up. And then maybe. One more right here. And then I wonder if what I can do is then drop a line here. Or maybe it's just asking for that not to be the bottom. Maybe this is the bottom. That kind of looks like the bottom now. Making me happy, so I guess that's a good indication. Up, oh, not through. I don't want to go right to that point. So yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. So I think that that orientation wasn't quite working for me after I put all the shapes in. So I think that feels a little more balanced, I guess. So I'm gonna start off with a 0.2 micron here. How about if I just start with this? See what happens. Go ahead and put this one on top. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think I want to do this one here. Ugh, that got a little wonky. Spinning that paper around to get that 
pull of that lime. This helps to steady him up. So where was I? Uh, ah, um, yeah, I think. Kind of hoping that as I look and forth back, back with this quote here, trying to think if it's bringing anything to mind. I uh, did a search with uh, one of the AI tools to find uh, creative quotes. And this is one of them that came up that I liked. I think it's easy with, um, especially like with YouTube, to compare, to think that you can't put any videos out because your editing isn't good enough or your idea isn't good enough, what you're talking about, or you don't have an idea. <laughs> um, yeah, but you just want to make a video. You just want to do a doodle. Um, you got that creative itch. And you just kind of just, just kind of speaking to me about you just do it. There's so many voices out there on the internet, YouTube and whatever. I mean, with some of the videos I have, I'm getting 25, 10, 4 views. And it's okay. Not everyone's going to resonate with the videos I make, but it. It certainly helps with my creative itch, which because of some of my life circumstances right now, I'm really feeling like I need that creative outlet because parts of my life aren't as creative as I would like them to be. Making these, these videos really is for me an extreme source of creativity because it is something that I don't excel at. I mean, I think my drawing's fine. I'm not trying to be a world-class drawer, that's for sure. You, you haven't seen my my figure drawings. Um, yeah, we won't bring that up. I'm pretty comfortable with where I am, at least with my skills as far as drawing. Well, no, that's not true. I certainly want to get better at, I have a, a, a animal drawing book on the way that I think it'd be cool to get better at drawing animals. I think they're a fun subject matter. Where was I going with all this? Just to draw and pull up my sketchbook and spend five, 10, an hour, whatever, just doodling is fine, but making these videos, putting them out there in the world to share, connect maybe, I don't know. I don't know what my overall goal is with this YouTube channel. I mean, posted content about programming, about doodling, about art. Kind of feel like I'm still figuring out what my message is. But it is a very new medium for me. So every time I create a video and get it to publish, it really feels like a huge accomplishment, which feels good, even if the video doesn't do that great. And for me, a good video is like over 50, so over 50 views. So my expectations <laughs> are pretty low and I do have fun making the videos. And so I think that that's what's important. And I've kind of done every line anyway. So now that I see this, I might as well just pop this in. I lost track of any plan. That's okay. We don't need plans. It's not for this. This is just about having fun. See that? Just keep on getting in my way. Um, I'm going to yank them off. Be right back. Okay. We're back. Bunch of them remind me of these little, uh, maybe a little ninjas. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll go on. out of here. So hopefully my template won't get as cut anymore. Back to this thing and stuff. Let's see. So if this is the top, 
That could be the top two. Dang, let's go down. Like, I think, no, I think I'm gonna make this the top. I guess it's all relative anyway. So I'm gonna try here Do a little differently. Do that. Don't know if the neighbor's barking dog is coming through, but we got some dog barks. So if I'm going back to this um, as reference, so what if I, for inspiration, because I really like, yeah, how this looks here, how this kind of motion. And I was trying to get it here and I didn't quite get it, um, but I do like how it comes in here and then, at least on this side, I don't know if I want to circle it, so to speak. Ah, oh, maybe that, because that looks pretty cool right, right here. This kind of like um, shape. I want, I want to say concave, but I'm not sure if it's concave or convex. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so if I'm taking those ideas, and that would be pretty cool to come into the circle, go through here, and then out the circle, out the other circle. So I'll continue on this pattern. Okay, I'm actually going to come into the circle, I think. Get that guy included. Let's see how this looks. Um, Got to be careful it doesn't end up looking too much like a cartoony hairline that's not the feel I'm going for it's not a bad feel it's just not the one I'm going for let's go with this Do I just want to go down down and sure let's see but then I can come over here Maybe that was a mistake. It round off the corners. Do I want to? Sure. I think I can do them after the fact. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to where my drawing shows up. Oh, and we have a kitty. Hopefully he's not going to make too much noise. I may have to uh, step away to put him out if that's what he wants often impossible to know we've got two kitties one larger than the other one noisier than the other i do like how when you round these corners it does tend to make the thinner lines pop out more it definitely does give some line weight variation okay so comes in here for right now travels over here as I try to draw and think at the same time maybe is that why drawings is so nice because it allows me to get out of my brain 
and just see what happens. Sometimes there's a plan. Sometimes the plan just kind of evolves. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to do what I want or not. I know I often think about how I started really drawing in college. I did the computer science-y thing with all of those classes. One of the very first classes I took in college was um, engineering, drafting, drawing class. So it was a whole class on learning to draw, drawing with your left hand, uh, one continuous, lots of drawing exercises to kind of get a bunch of geeky engineers, software developers, mechanical engineers, so on and so forth, drawing if they'd never done it before um, or if they were worried about it. But anyway, so that was kind of my first exposure. But then as I was trying to fill out electives and such, I just gravitated to art classes. And when I found it was really nice to go from really heavy physics, calculus class, software development, algorithms, or just something that my brain would really tax my brain. And then you go to a art class and it's just, it just engages a whole different portion of your brain. And it was just like the sigh of relief. Just like, ah, uh, you could just let it happen. Whereas with uh, all of the engineering and math stuff, it felt very, like you really had to work at it. Whereas with art, you just, just letting it happen. And my grade, was well, it was just an elective. So I certainly didn't have as much writing on it as actual art majors so they'd all we'd be freaking out over a project and I'd just be like oh this is just great just come in here and see what happens and I don't need to get a outstanding grade I can just show up and do my best and really the, the art instructors loved it because I was just having fun and doing whatever came to me I had a lot less stress than the art majors who were super serious about it obviously because they wanted to really showcase their work and their talent and everything and I just didn't have the same level of the words will come to me at some point commitment's not right I didn't have the same level of commitment I don't think that's true um, ooh, that's interesting let's see what happens this don't blink too much. This may be kind of interesting. Didn't quite line up there. That's okay. Don't need to be perfect. Mm. Okay, so if I look at this. Alright, come back to this. That's an interesting line there, maybe. Because it kind of matches up with that. So what if I do this? Or would this be better? Oh boy. Let's actually go with that. Yeah, that feels safer. Which isn't always better, but for right now, safe is okay. Sometimes you want to be safe. May regret going this way because that matches that. I almost want to go lower, but we'll see. I mean, it's all an experiment right now. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, I find myself wanting to like stop uh, uh, um, on a lot of these pieces and go, okay, well, that's it, but then I keep on going, and then I keep on going. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, let's do, do this. That made an interesting shape there. I think I think I like it. I think what I'm gonna do is pull this line. All right, um, what I kinda wanna do Come back to here. Well, 
Well, I'll definitely be editing this video down. I do like kind of how that's opposing sides there. I haven't decided what I want to do with these that big circle yet, but I do like how that inner circle is working. Maybe don't always do this. Sometimes it feels right. Kind of like that. I haven't decided whether, because that looks kind of cool. I'm digging that a bit. All right, so it's kind of this sort of feel. Don't like how that ended up. That looks kind of goofy. Don't want too much goofy. A little bit of goofy, I guess, is fine. Especially if that's the vibe you're going for. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got away from me. Oh. A little bit of an error there. Can I make it? Well, that actually doesn't look so bad. That's kind of an interesting line variation here. Certainly more to do. But this video is running almost to an... Oh. Hopefully I'll edit it down some, but it's definitely running long. I'd love these to be like five minutes, but it's, unless I seriously cut, speed things up, and have a plan, the plan would probably help. But then again, kind of like how these can just be sporadic. They don't have to be super well thought out ahead of time. This kind of feels like it needs something right here. And it seems like it you know, matches up with this over here a bit, maybe. Yeah, this just does not seem right. That feels a little better, I think. Really, if I was smart, I would pencil stuff in before I just started making changes. Not always accused of being super smart, but I can learn, I think. Liking how that's coming in. I'll, um, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Kinda doing it, but some of it feels a little wonky, I don't know. Haven't decided yet. I like this shape. It feels like it needs to do something, but if I go higher, then it's gonna feel like I need to continue. Well, but maybe I do. Maybe that's the answer. It's just to fill in this part. Well, let me do that real quick. I might miss it. So, take a nice long gander at that. That's uh, where it's currently at. Or this side you pick. Yeah, because I think what I'm seeing now is I can fill in these. All right, I'm gonna cut it here.